Hi everyone! Thank you for watching this video. This is Shaba from Bear Mix Journals over at Instagram. Um, today you would have seen the unboxing of the new um, 2025 Daphne's Diary Planner. So I'll go through this later but before I do I wanted to share with you how I'm using, how I'm going so far in the 2024 planner i've um, been using this constantly for my son's um, school planning uh, planning his activities um, i'll share uh, maybe i'll put a link up here on one of my plan with me videos i do it every sunday to prepare for the following week um, for my son but um, I've been using this since 2022. Um, my son started first grade last year. So that's when I really sort of developed my system on how um, I use the Daphne's Diary Planners for school. And here um, in the 2024 planner, same, same thing. So I just don't see myself changing how I use this planner. It's working well for me. So I'm very, very excited to have the 2025 planner because I'm just gonna do the same thing for my son's next um, school year. So basically, um, all of the planners have this, um, which is the pocket where you can um, place some things. So I have here the freebies from this year and some sticker sheets that I use weekly. You have your uh, details, you have your calendar view, some bucket list, and then this one I haven't really used but you can add in birthdays I guess, um, contacts, and then you go into the monthly. Um, maybe I'll show you this um, the back portion I have more stickers but yeah it's been very well loved so I saw earlier um, in I think there was a question how we use the tabs I just use it like that I mean it's not the most perfect it would have been better if I you know placed it um, in a more <laughs> uh, lined up fashion but it is what it is so here we are in September so this is the month you have that monthly page and then you have the weekly uh, sorry the monthly monthly cover and then the monthly page where you can add in important details and then each um, month has this weekly view the weekly views have a horizontal layout which is perfect for me because i add in the subjects for my school for my son's school i add in the assessments so that continues until this um the next page and in between there's always this um extra page where you can add things to buy things to do and then a blank page the next in the next um the other side what i do is i use it not really for things to do and things to buy sometimes i use it for things to buy like here by overall for wednesday buwan ng wika but um i mostly use it as a study guide so for the assessments i add in what needs to be studied here the competencies and um what book pages or handouts to study the other page is just the bento planning so i my son um stays in in school until half day so he still eats lunch here at home but i just um give him snacks um and breakfast food and then it goes until sunday so this is a monday start it starts on a monday and ends on a sunday which is how i like my planners to be set up so that's the first week september the second week of September as you can see I really like stickers so these are full of stickers and 
I'm super super happy that there's a new um, there are new sticker books from Daphne's diary you you would have seen it um, earlier but these are the three <laughs> sticker books I am so excited to use this in my 2025 planner I will probably use them as early as now because I just love everything in here um, I will have a full flip through of all of the sticker books um, later so if you stick around you'll watch, you can watch that later later in the video I mean so that's was it the second week third week and then fourth week and then that's it then it goes into october so that's basically how i use the journal and then i also really like the um, bookmarks that comes with each journal i use it i just add a ribbon and then i use it to mark where i am um, in the planner so it's easy to find or you can also use this to know why it's there so it's also this dangly bit can also be used as a marker but for me it's easier to use this one yep so that's it um, I hope uh, this video is very helpful to you if you're interested in getting the 2025 Daphne's diary planner and you're thinking of how to use it this is how I use it um, I will also share a full flip through of the Daphne's diary for 2025 um, also later on in the video I what's the main difference I I looked at this one already um, because I filmed the flip through before this video but what I noticed is that um, there's also they still have the tab so I'll add that in there what I noticed is that there are more spaces to write um, it's still very very beautifully um, designed like this page look at that i mean you don't even need stickers i just really love stickers that's why i use them but there are more spaces to write in each of the weekly layouts so that's one main difference that i saw and wow i just love these stickers um there are i think two sticker sheets this one included in this um, journal and as usual there's also the postcards the recipes um, and then these beautiful coloring Mommy, bits you, need to get the you can <laughs> you're crazy you can also color in this bits this bits so. <laughs> yep so that's um the 2025 planner i am super excited to use this one i think this is also new so this is the back of the new one this the old the, the old one just has the same design this one has the daphne's diary website but yeah pretty much um still the same with a lot more improvements because there's more spaces to write more um i think stickers sticker sheets and then the usual beautiful postcards so that's it for um how i use the journal i will now um give you the flip through of the sticker books and the flip through of the 2025 planner um thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe if you haven't and please continue watching to see what's inside the 2025 diary planner for um, daphne's diary and what's inside these 
beautiful sticker box.